Our Honeywell TH6320WFO2 thermostat is completely blank. I just noticed it a few minutes ago. We tried resetting our circuit breaker and the thermostat by taking it off the wall for one minute and then replacing it. Still it's blank. Hi. My name is I've got over 10 years of HVAC slash air conditioning refrigeration experience. Please read this entire post I've worked on everything from 1200 ton chillers, residential ACs down to refrigerators and everything in between. I've also been to Generac school, so I'm also qualified to help with generators and basic small engines. I would be glad to help you out today. All I ask is that you please remember I am also a service tech who actively is working in the field, so my responses may be a bit delayed. Please know that I will still do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. I'm sure with my knowledge, and us working together we can get you a satisfactory answer. Our Honeywell TH6320WFO2 thermostat is completely blank. I just noticed it a few minutes ago. We tried resetting our circuit breaker and the thermostat by taking it off the wall for one minute and then replacing it. Still it's blank. With that being said, phone requests are often auto-generated by just answer. If you don't want them, simply do not accept the phone request and I'll be happy to help through text. Your thermostat is hardwired correct. Does it have double or triple A batteries? Not concerned if it has small silver memory batteries, looking forward to helping you tomorrow. It doesn't look like it has any batteries that we can see. Okay, where is the indoor unit located? In a garage, basement, attic? Near a spare bedroom. Okay. Go to where the unit is and check where the drain line comes out. There may be what is called a float switch. A float switch looks like this http colon slash prntscr.com slash over 7 lx or similar. You can pull the top part of the switch out of the drain and let it hang, then go see if power is restored to your unit. Float switches are wired up to protect from water damage, so oftentimes they are wired up to kill 24V main power to the thermostat. If it is, you'll need to clear the drain out with a shop vac. If you don't have a float switch let me know and I'll advise further. We can't find a drain this is just a furnace with fan. Okay, you don't have an air conditioning system with the furnace. What type of indoor furnace is it? Do you have the model number? No on the air conditioning. The furnace is a Carrier 58 STA slash STX. Okay, in that case you need to turn the breaker off to the furnace, open up the panel and look for a 3 or 5 amp automotive type fuse. It may be blown. The fuses are usually see-through so you can pull them out and observe if TAE are blown. The fuse will either be located on the circuit board itself, or it will be in line with the low voltage wires on the transformer somewhere. There isn't any panel to take off to look at fuses. The fuse is within the furnace itself. If you've got a 58 STX series you have to take the front panel off. Oops. We found the panel. Board looks like this. Fuse located here http colon slash prntscr.com slash over 8g. Let me know if the fuse is blown. Okay. Thanks. No problem. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.